Yo, my name is BK Print, and so about increasing affection in Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. For starters, rank 4 is the max affection, and as you increase affection at different levels, specific events and CGs for each character will unlock and stuff, but most importantly you need rank 4 affection on every character as one of the conditions to see the true end, which is annoying. So, to increase our affection we're gonna head over to this dungeon in the fourth area over here, it's called Forest of Oblivion, is that how you translate that? I don't know. But anyway, um. One of the best ways to increase affection is by resurrecting dead teammates. Now, I'll show you my kid. So, he's at rank 3, 30%. So, every time you resurrect a dead teammate, you get 5%, which is not a lot. But if you can set up a situation where your teammates die frequently and very quickly, it's probably the best way to increase affection. So, right in the opening of this dungeon, there's a room with two snipers. So, I've lured my teammates into this dungeon and I will tell them to hold this position where they are vulnerable to sniper fire. So, when you tell your teammates to hold the position, they will not move, they will not heal each other, and they will not interact with the enemies. So, they will like just stand around and take bullets to the face, which is perfect for this method. So, the snipers are one-shot kill, and as they go down, I just slide over and resurrect them. And to make sure that I don't take any sniper bullets, I've equipped a sword with two versions of sword barrier. And the purpose of doing this is that when one version is on cooldown and I'm vulnerable to bullets, I just pop the other version and I stay in, in the, the bullet parry mode. Now, I'm waiting for Kirito to die. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I will show you now. It is, last time Kirito was on 30% and now he's on 35. Like I said, you get a 5% increase, which is not a lot, especially considering rank 4 will be 400%. So yeah, this will take a while and you need to do this for every character in the game in order to see, well, for one of the conditions to see the true end. And I think this method is pretty efficient since your teammates die frequently and you can stay invulnerable to the sniper fire and whatever. But I have seen some other interesting methods online, like people trap their friends in, in one of the corners of a boss room with a melee boss. And then they just let the boss decimate the friends and then they use the invisibility cloak to slide over and heal them and stuff. And another method I've seen is in a room with a turret, they trap their friends in between a barrier and the turret. And then they stand behind the barrier and just resurrect their teammates through the barrier. So there's a lot of creative stuff you can do, but at the end of the day, you just kind of have to resurrect your teammates. Honestly, I think that they might increase... Oh, shit, I died. Okay, when you die... um just make sure you tell your teammates to actually heal you and then tell them to go back to holding the position if you don't tell them to heal you they will just stand around and look at you until the whole team gets wiped out now as i was saying um i think that they might increase this in the update i cannot say for sure but because it is really slow and i mean the normal ending of this game is pretty lackluster to be honest and most people are going to want to see the true end so and i mean not everybody has time to resurrect their teammates for a full day because this takes really long and yeah like i said there's no dating system in this game unlike hollow realization so the only way to increase affection is doing battle and this is the fastest way that i have found so yeah i guess that's all i have to say on this matter so <clears throat> this has been bk brent thanks for watching and yeah see ya